Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about this GoPro. Now, GoPro is a name that we've all come to know and love, and they're especially known for their durability. Because they can do things like this, like being completely submerged in water, and you won't have any issues. They can also handle big impacts, like being thrown off the top of a house. See? No problems. Alright, so obviously we know that these cameras are durable and they can handle a lot and they can survive in a lot of conditions. But, me being the person that I am, I want to know, can it survive seven days in sulfuric acid? That's my question. So, what I'm going to do is, I have a jar here, I'm going to put the camera in the jar, obviously, fill it with the sulfuric acid, I'm going to wait 24 hours, and then I'll take it out and test it. And then if it wor still works after 24 hours, then I'll let it go for another six days. And then we'll see if it works after a full seven days submerged in sulfuric acid. Let's get started. All right, before we start messing with acid, definitely gonna need some gloves. All right, and some safety glasses. All right, now I'm gonna turn the GoPro on all right, it's recording. I'm going to put it, put it in the jar. I want it to be... I want it to be facing up. Come on. There we go. Now let's pour the acid in. All right, we have a GoPro fully submerged in sulfuric acid. Now we'll come back in 24 hours and see if it survives. All right, it has been 24 hours. Let's crack this thing open and see how it's held up. Just from looking at it from the outside, it doesn't look like that there's any change really. Everything looks exactly the same. Let's get this out of here. See if it turns on and works. All right. Oh. You can see right there, it does work. Oh, touch screen still works. All right, it still works. 24 hours later, turn this back off. All right, now let's put this back in here. Hopefully we have enough acid to cover it back up. All right, looks like we had just enough to cover it back up. All right, now we'll let it sit in here for six more days and we'll come back and see what happens. All right, it has been a full seven days that the GoPro has been soaking in the sulfuric acid. And as you can see, the sulfuric acid has turned this like mysterious blue type of shade and it's not really looking that good because whenever I look into this jar I can see little pieces of rubber that are coming from somewhere and on the bottom of the GoPro the or on the side rather the latch where the uh, charging port goes where the charging cable goes looks like it's open like the acids kind of like ate away at it or whatever. So it's not looking very good. Let's get this thing open and see how it held up. Oh wow, oh there it is. I thought it ate away that uh, little door. Oh, how do I get that out of there? Maybe popsicle stick. Okay, so the acid definitely ate away at the, I don't know if this is just the cover to the door. 
Oh, yeah. It definitely opened it. And it looks like this one. Oh. Yeah, this one's all crunchy, too. Where the battery goes. So it's very brittle. Oh, that's a little spring, I guess, that keeps the door shut. All right, well, it doesn't look, <laughs> it doesn't look very good, but I'm going to, let's go wash this off with soap and water, get all the acid off of it, so that way I can at least handle it with my bare hands, and then we'll put a battery in it and see if it turns on. All right, so I washed off all the acid with soap and water, and so far it's not looking very good for our little GoPro. As you saw before, this door right here, completely dissolved away. This one has two chips in it and it's working on being dissolved. While I was washing it, you can see that there's water inside of this lens. And this lens, normally you have to twist it like a half turn and then pull it off. And it's usually pretty hard to get off. But I guess the acid just kind of ate away at the plastic or whatever. And now it just comes right off. And when I, also when I was washing it, this door where the battery goes was all full of acid so it obviously ate past the rubber seal and got in there but i've washed the whole thing out with water so and you can even see whenever i i don't know if you can see it but whenever i you can see there's water coming out of it right now whenever you tilt it back and forth on this screen there's water that kind of goes back and forth so i'm assuming the whole thing's full of water and acid probably so what I'm going to do is, to, to give this thing the benefit of the doubt, give it the best chance possible, I'm going to uh, put it outside in the sun, let the sun dry it, and then I'll put a battery in it, and we'll see if it, if it even turns on. And if it doesn't turn on, then we'll tear, tear it apart and look at the inside, because I want to see what that looks like. So we'll be back in a few hours. All right. So this GoPro has been sitting out in the sun for the last about four hours drying out. And if you look really close if you can see it inside this lens right here whenever you turn the camera you can see the you can see that there's still water in there I don't know how clear you can see it but I can see it in person so there is still moisture inside of this GoPro and you can also see this spot right here where the acid has eaten away at this door right there yeah there you go so, the more I move it around and I can see the liquid inside, I don't think there's much hope for this GoPro, but we're gonna open it up, put a battery inside, and see if anything happens. I doubt it, but I'm hopeful. All right, battery's in. Let's hold the button. And nothing. I don't see any lights. No, no, no lights. The buttons don't seem to do anything. So I take it that this thing is completely fried. So since this thing is completely fried, what I want to do is I want to peel it apart and look at the insides and see what the acid has done to the inside. So take this screwdriver here. I don't think it's going to be hard to peel apart. Okay. This is actually harder to get into than what I thought. Come on, GoPro. I just want to see what's in here. Let me, let me look inside. What is in here? That's all I want to know. There we go. All right. Looks like this. Looks like this back piece. Looks like it's just like a cage for the battery with some ribbon cables. Nothing too exciting. This piece looks like, 
I'm assuming that this is where the SD card went because it would go there. Yeah, so this is where the SD card would go. It doesn't look that bad, honestly. Not that I know what it looked like before it sat in acid for seven days, but there's like no corrosion or anything. I figured there'd be a lot of corrosion. I'll give you guys a close up so that you can see what I'm seeing. All right, just to give you guys an up close look. This is the back part of it right here. You can see it's pretty much just a cage where the battery goes in. You can see here the two places where the acid ate away at this door. And you can even see how brittle that is. This door part just kind of peels away. So you can see there's not really anything exciting in here, just a place for the battery. And then these ribbon cables, some other type of power cable or something here. And this is the, the front side. You can see right here, you can see that liquid that I was talking about that as you move, just kind of rolls around. But oddly enough, on the inside, you can see right here, you can see that little slot for the SD, the micro SD card. There's no, there was no moisture in here. Even though there's moisture, obviously right here, it must just be trapped like inside of this panel because none of the circuit board's wet. None of this is corroded or anything. Oh, well, it just broke off. And all of this looks pretty good. Like none of it looks damaged or wet. Not even really this O-ring around the outside edge looks that bad. So it actually did hold up pretty good for being completely submerged in sulfuric acid for seven days. Well, I think it's safe to say that this GoPro is completely junk. All right, well, there you have it. Do not leave your GoPro in sulfuric acid for seven days. If you wanna leave it in there for 24 hours, that's fine. But do not leave it in there for seven days or else you'll end up with a useless GoPro. Now, I know this probably didn't shock anybody and everyone was thinking, why in the world would you even think that a GoPro would survive seven days in sulfuric acid? But I really wanted to know and somebody had to try it, so I decided to I decided for it to be me. So now I've answered my own question. Will the GoPro survive seven days in sulfuric acid? No, it won't. And now the world is a little bit of a better place. <laughs> So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If there's anything else that you want to see me leave in sulfuric acid for seven days or 30 days or any amount of time, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.